guys, welcome back to episode four of Horror Hotties. I am actually here with a new member today. Everybody meet Lars. Hello. <laughs> She's super excited to be here. Yay. We're a little nervous. <laughs> There's just the two of us. And then I'm Bex. Um, I've been here. This is my fourth episode. So um, thank God. So you won't be here by yourself or <laughs> <laughs> just completely <laughs> lost. Um, so this week we watched Candyman. Mm -hmm. um, this just came out and on August 27th. And Welcome to Horror Hotties. We are going to go on ahead and uh, talk about Candyman. Are you playing? No. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome back, guys. We are going to go on ahead and play the Candyman trailer for you. Um, this came out on August 27th. It was directed by, I just wrote, Nia DaCosta. Um, so we're going to go on ahead and play the trailer for you. When we come back, we're going to go on ahead and talk about it. And welcome back, you guys. I hope you guys liked watching the trailer. Um, honestly, we were kind of impressed with the movie a little bit. I have some mixed feelings about it, but, um, we'll definitely get into that. Lars, um, I think I wanted to ask you what your favorite scary movie was. Um, that's a really hard question <laughs> um, because there's just so many different kinds of horror. Honestly. I really like uh, funny horror, you know, cheesy, um, and then also bloody, gory, right. actually scary stuff. So I think I'm going to just have to say The Evil Dead as a series because mm -hmm. it has all of my favorite parts of horror. In How many in the movies are there? Um, there's, I mean, there's a couple, there's like the original movies, there's the new movie, and then there's all the spin-offs with Ash. So there's a lot of content. I know that they have a TV show. Yeah, there's um, a lot of content for Evil awesome. Dead. Awesome, yeah. My personal one um, would have to be Scream. Um, that's one of my favorites. But um, we did watch Candyman this week, and I did actually watch the original as well. Um, I had watched it recently, so I just kind of refreshed my memory on it. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the original? I, I saw the original long, long time ago, so I remember not caring for it. Uh, it was very slow, um, and I just I don't remember much about it. It didn't really leave that impact. No, no, it didn't leave its mark it, on you. No, <laughs> it didn't no, resonate with you. Not, a, not really. But I, when I saw that this movie was coming out, I was excited. I was like, oh, maybe they'll right. do better. Maybe I'll actually like it this time. Do you like it this time? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I, I like it. I enjoyed it. Right. I enjoyed watching it. I wouldn't say it, maybe I wouldn't rewatch it. Yeah. Yeah. It would be one of those movies where, like, yeah, I mean, it, I'd watch it in the background, maybe, but I wouldn't, like, sit down and, and, and watch no. it again. It's like, if someone says they're going to go see it, I won't, you know, deter them from doing that. Right. Like, it's fine, but it's not like. I wouldn't say don't see it, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, you know Correct. what I mean? Yeah. It, it is a very well done movie as far as the graphics go, as far as the screenplay goes. Um, That's fair. A lot of the cinematography is just really neat. Um, but I feel like it is a hundred percent different from the original yeah. in the sense that it's the original is more of a boo scary, a little bit more gore. You see direct, um, kill scenes. Um, I feel like the newer one was a lot different from that. Yeah. Um, I feel like it was, it was more, okay, let's, let's see what we can do with the camera work. Let's see what we can do with the background. Yeah. Because I don't know. I feel like they were really trying to paint a picture of the Candyman and the story. Um, Literally as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But in more time relevance, like more today, which was also really cool. And I think you had mentioned that, um, yeah. that you had noticed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, what would, what's your favorite kill scene? 
<laughs> okay, so there was the scene with the, the little boy. There's a scene with the little boy. Big spoiler alert, you guys. <laughs> Lots of spoilers. <laughs> um, definitely one of the favorites was the little boy that uh, he is walking by and his, I don't know if it was his sister or cousins, don't know, but older kids um, wouldn't let him play the Candyman game. Um, and they were like, no, like, you're you're too little like this is a grown-ups mm-hmm. game and they go in the bathroom and, and they're they're doing the thing <laughs> they are doing the thing and then you just hear like just a, nothing <laughs> and the little boy's like hmm, tries to open the door and it's like just that one that one hurt and then he look he like looks up through the sliver and is like you just see the candy man's face in the mirror it's and like, shh Exactly. Oh He's just like, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> like, yeah. But it wasn't so much like, again, this one wasn't so much like uh, direct kill or murder scenes. You don't really see the candy men chopping them up. You don't right. see. You, there's a few times where he, he goes for the throat and you kind of see it. Kind of. But this was more, again, like, just screenplay and, like, watching just the background or the set. Like, I feel like the set was very focused. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But when you when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's, like, a really interesting way to show it versus yeah. the kid getting all upset and screaming and getting scared or whatever. It ends it. It's like, no, that's it. Right. It was a very artistic way to do a kill scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the whole movie is very artsy. <laughs> in general i mean it opens up and they're in the art gallery and the guy is an artist he's painting these pictures mm-hmm. of the candy man and he has no idea that he's doing it so and then at some point he's like yeah i've heard the stories and he goes with that and that's kind of i guess where he gets his um his meaning for life like his passion i don't know <laughs> it was very just everything is very art oriented with the movie yeah. instead of it being focused on being scary scary you know what I mean but I there's agree. definitely a lot of blood there was some good blood I I love blood that was <laughs> I love that um there was one scene when they're in the college bathroom and like there's just a row of girls and mm-hmm. you're just like oh they're gonna get it so good I can't wait to see that right you just know <laughs> they're just one big mirror and oh, there's like what five of them I mm-hmm. think at first, and then one like, leaves. <laughs> yeah, one is like I'm getting out of here. Yeah, she's she's she a smart one. She's she like, was a nope. smart one. Yeah, and then still you don't necessarily see them. Mm-hmm. You see like underneath the stall, like the blood dripping. Yeah, and that's about it. But mm-hmm. there was a lot of blood dripping. So <laughs> a lot. It was like a waterfall. It, was, it, was... it just kept just kept going, just puddles. So I I did enjoy that part. Yeah, <laughs> it, I feel like again because the the one girl was she was in the stall, like, and yeah. she wasn't the one saying the Candyman's name, so right. she was untouched. She just got to watch that happen. Mm-hmm. So I think it was more of just like the you know how she's feeling, you, we don't need to hear it or see it kind of thing. Yeah, it kind of did play into how you're feeling, like, as that, if you were that character. Right. Yeah. Instead of it just being, uh, like, everybody screaming and yelling and freaking out. Like, no, it just, and then it cuts it. It's like, it doesn't give time for them to react because it goes right back to the storyline. So mm-hmm. it was definitely um, a really cool way to watch the movie. So I don't necessarily hate the movie. No. I don't hate no. it. I, I liked the, um, just, yeah, the artistic side of it. It was a really cool way to, to do a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just not my type of horror movie. Not I like cup of tea. No. <laughs> not my cup of tea. <laughs> there were some parts, though, I, I we were reacting. We're like, close the door, close the door. Right. Like, oh, no, don't go in there. Like, so they, like you just know. Yeah, so there uh, were some good good high energy parts of it that kind of made me like perk up a little bit but right for the main part and then there were some there were some comedy bits too so the one guy (laughs) was i don't know if he was the main character's girlfriend's brother um but (laughs) he he walked in with the girl because he the guy anthony is going crazy like you know the candy man's making him lose his, his shit. <laughs> so he's going nuts. And the guy's like, we need to get you out of his house. Like, we need to get your shit and get out. Yeah. And so they go in there and he's like, Anthony, if you're here, <laughs> we're getting her stuff and we are leaving. And like just his little, just like, just, 
oh, like, I don't know, his character just had some pizzazz. Yeah, yeah. He, I love the comedic relief in horror movies. That's definitely necessary. And when it's done well, like, it, it's... It carries all, the movie. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I really liked his character. He was silly and sassy. <laughs> right. I feel like you always have to have some really, like, quirky character in every horror film or you have to have the comedy, the comedy mm-hmm. in it as well. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's just... It's not horror. Right. Like, when you think about, like, all the um, 80s horror films or this, even back in the, the 60s, the 70s, like, there's a lot of just cheesy comedy that made sense for the time. And I feel like a lot of movies nowadays don't do that as much. Right. It's more relevant comedy versus cheesy, I feel like. Yeah. But this movie did a really good job of, I feel like... Um, Keeping it funny, but not too, too funny. It was just random. The other thing, he would randomly leave the conversation. Oh my God. <laughs> He's like, I have to go. Like, just. Exactly. Like, he would, they would just be like, what were they doing? I think he was at dinner with them. Yeah. And he was like, I gotta go. Gets up and leaves. Everyone's just like, okay. And no one's quite, like, they just, like, found out somebody was murdered and he's like, I gotta go. Like, that's not suspicious Nobody at all. Like, <laughs> and they just, they don't even touch on it. They're like, no, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was actually probably just really funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely think the uh, original was, again, more of a boo scary, more, mm. more close to horror than this one. But I do recommend watching it. I think it's a great movie to go see or go make out on the couch with and, and not actually. <laughs> yeah, that's probably watch. what I would suggest. And then you just look <laughs> over at the kill scenes and you're like, oh. You're and like, then okay. Go. <laughs> and you go back to whatever it was you were doing. <laughs> like that's that's, that's how, the kind of movie I get. Yeah, that's how I watch most horror movies. I won't, won't lie. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like that's, that's most of <laughs> just, us. Just gets you in the mood. You I don't know. You few where you're like, no, I religiously watch this. I know every single word. And then there's other ones where you're like, yeah, I could watch it, but it's in the background. Kind of yeah. <laughs> Um, so next week we are going to be doing um, the Scream series, which I am super excited for. It's your favorite movie, it's isn't literally it? Literally my favorite. <laughs> um, and that's directed by Wes Craven. I actually believe they might be coming out with a fifth movie soon. Mm-hmm. Um, Wes is obviously no longer with us. Sad day. Um, but I'm really excited to be doing Scream next week. So we are going to be. Um, Figuring that out for you guys, we'll be posting. I believe we're actually going to be going live on Monday instead. Mm -hmm. Um, So stay tuned for some updates on when we're going to be going live for our next podcast episode. Um, And thank you so much for coming and thanks for being here. Um, (laughs) Thanks for having me. You're doing a great job. Thanks. (laughs) You're doing great. So we'd love to have you back. Um, We're going to play the trailer for you one more time, you guys, so that you can definitely decide if you're going to watch it if you haven't watched it already. So here we go. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. (laughs) And if there's any other movies that you guys want us to watch, let us know. Leave a comment. Leave a comment or send us a message. We're actually going to be, I believe, setting up some some poll-type things. So you guys can kind of give us some feedback as well. Yeah. Um, But let's go on ahead and we'll play the trailer for you one more time. Okay.